are you familiar with the uh, Nientat? Um, so, yeah, we we partnered with them, and I'll show you this app right now. Uh, we just released this last month. Um, Chris, the creator of Nientat, will be here at one o'clock each day, um, showing off some different stuff and signing autographs and whatnot. But um, this one, for example, is called uh, Space Party, and in this one, you. You can actually use it as a tilt-based game with your device, or you can connect with Sphero, and then you actually hold Sphero in your hand and use it as a controller. So, blue light that shows up, you basically put your thumb on there, and then you're basically using the ball to control the end cat as you fly through space. So you're flying through, shooting bacon, collecting these lollipops. Um, there's seven different levels in this game. Uh, you know, they obviously get harder as you go through. So you collect these lollipops, and as these bars fill up down here, um, it gives you a super bomb. And then when you get a super bomb, you can just give the ball one quick shake and it destroys everything on the screen. And then, uh, a little bit of arcade when I was on. Let's just go with classic games that they have. Yeah, so we have a couple that are like this. Um, and what we've also done is there are third-party apps that are, you know, already existing that are tilt-based games that have incorporated the use of Sphero as a controller. Um, so there's one called Last Fish. There's one called um, Zombie Ball. Uh, there's a few other ones. And I can sh I can show you those. Oh yeah. Okay. Well then, our our big thing is really augmented reality. Um, and so the newest thing we're demoing here is a game called The Rolling Dead. Uh, I'll show it to you in a minute, but it's an augmented reality uh, game where you basically run over and shoot virtual zombies as they pop up from the ground. So let me let me collect enough lollipops to shoot up a super bomb for you, and then I can show you that other game. So you know, at this point, there's driving the ball around, there's holding it in your hand and using it as a controller. There's some um, multiplayer, like tabletop type games. All right, so now I got enough. You ready? Boom, there it is. Yeah, um, so some multiplayer, like tabletop games, for example. Um, uh, this one's called Color Grab. So what happens, let me make sure it's connected. So what happens in this one is, basically you want to pick the ball up when it turns green. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, a lot of interactive games. So this is one that's already out, and we're demoing another new one that's called Pass the Spiro. There we go. Um, they'll be in the next couple months. So, you know, we're just doing some final final things for them. Pass the Spiro is basically like a hot potato type game. It's a multiplayer. Um, Ah, uh, yes. Alright, so. Rolling Dead. Rolling Dead. So, this one we hope to have out uh, in the next month or two. And basically, what happens is, um, you know, with most augmented reality, you have to lay down markers. But with Spiro, Spiro actually is the marker. So, you can, like, go anywhere with it. You don't need to set down any markers. And you can do all kinds of cool stuff. We released the first augmented reality app in November. It's called Sharky the Beaver, um, where the ball becomes this virtual beaver that you basically drive around and can interact with. And when you turn your device like this, you put the cupcakes into its mouth. Um, this one it has even more gameplay. See, we gotta fix the final bug before we release it. Let me see. If you don't roll it out, should be fine. That should be working it. It was working before, I'm not sure what the situation is. Give me one sec. You definitely want to see it, it's cool. Shit. No, let me show you Sharky the Beaver. I'm not sure what happens on the I'll try it again after this. I'll just show you this one so you can get an idea for it. Alright, so the ball has become this virtual beaver basically. Walking down there, turning around, he's walking. 
walking back this way. Still working on a couple bucks here. Yeah, well, and also with so many balls around here, so many devices. Yeah. Uh, so if you flip your device like this, then the ball starts to drive autonomously and uh, you try and throw these virtual cupcakes into his mouth. So you know, really, really minimal gameplay with the first app because um, it's, it's fairly new to most people on Minute Reality, so we wanted to give them like an introduction, you know, that's fairly simple. Um, the Rolling Dead, it's, you know, it's a little more interactive. We'll give this one last try. Otherwise, I might have to grab a different device. A little laggy, it's all right. Well, I think that's quite fine. Right. I guess you, my viewers, got the just of it there. Yeah. So, you want to play one more time your business and your name? Yeah, I've got uh, I'm Chuck with Spiro. And what I'm actually, I'm just so done over I'm Chuck with Robotics, and we're the makers of Spiro. Robotic quality control from your smartphone. Uh, over 20 games available to download right now, and you can get it uh, at Target, Apple, Brookstone, Barnes & Noble, and a number of places online. Alright, well you heard it here first guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video.